Thank you so much, Zed, for coming onto uh, my show today. Um, we really appreciate your time. We know you're, you're super busy, so we definitely appreciate every minute. And before I even jump right into the show, I have to tell this story. So I found Zed online on Instagram this morning, literally like 30 minutes ago, and I was reaching out to him, you know, trying to get him to come and share success stories. And, you know, I got a reply within minutes, right? And I was like, wow. And he's like, oh, can we basically figure out time? And I sent him some times and it couldn't work for him. And he's like, what about we do it now? And I was like, wait, what, like right now? And he's like, right now. I was like, uh, oh my God, I got confused and I didn't know what to do. And literally, it's, it's like, I don't know, past 12 a.m., right, in, in Australia right now. And it's like 9 a.m. for me. And we just literally started a podcast just now. So I just have to overemphasize how responsive Zed was and how just doing it right now. Just do it. Screw it and do it. So I just love that approach. Um, he's one of the best if not the best um, agent in, 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 in Melbourne, Australia. Um, he's been selling like crazy. I think you topped 240,000 on your last, um, on June or July, I think it was. I think you can do a way better job, Zed. Um, and <laughs> tell our, our dwell listeners, you know, about yourself, what you've been up to. Ah, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Dwellin. Thank you, Ola. You're awesome. What an introduction. I love that introduction. <laughs> thank you very much. You know what? You live for the moment. You got to live for the moment and... There's only 86,400 seconds in one day and there's only so much you can do. Life's a choice. You gotta wake up and do it right now because who knows who's gonna be dead or alive. So thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. And to all the people that's watching us right now, hopefully you can learn something from it. Thank you. Awesome. So now let's just jump, let's just jump right into bear, it. Bear in mind, bear in mind, I am in my casual clothes. It was, it's 11.30 p.m. in Australia, down in Melbourne. I did ask Ola if you wanted me to dress up, but you know what? I am who I am and you are who you are. And people should accept who you are I'm just in bed I'm like let's, let's go let's do it let's do it right now why not <laughs> I love it I love it the last time I watched uh, Mark Zuckerberg find on Facebook on TV um, he was addressing the nation and he had a t-shirt on so I think times are changing so I, I, I think that's fine <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's jump right into it why real estate why did you become an agent okay simple reason why not it's the most important subject, no matter where you are in the world, people talk about land, properties, no matter where you are in the world. So, you know, God doesn't make land and land anymore. So you might as well invest into it and learn how to do it. And I've always had a saying ever since I was little, there's no point of you being a doctor when you can build the clinic and the doctor pays your rent. And you can educate yourself within this environment that you can, you can just relate to anything, no matter where you are. It's just real estate, you know, it's, I love it. Awesome. Why? <laughs> Why not? So I'm just kind of curious, what were you doing before real estate? I guess I'm 27 years old. I fell into, I kind of fell into real estate. I started selling hot dogs at the age of 14 outside nightclubs down in Melbourne. And I was meant to sell those hot dogs for the $4.50. I ended up selling the same hot dog for $9 or $12. So I was already up selling at the age of 14. And I found that my skill was with people and being, you know, hungry all the time and yeah, being able to, I guess, communicate with people. That, that's where my skill was. And I always knew that I wanted to be in business. And I always knew I wanted to be in, you know, a business where I could grow. Awesome. So now you're a real estate agent. We have, um, I think in the United States, um, the Realtor Association, we have about between 1.5 to 2 million realtors, right, in the yeah. United States. It's pretty a low barrier to entry. We obviously have to pass the exam, um, but you're one of the best over there in Australia. How can you help someone thinking of becoming an agent or someone who is a seasoned agent to perform? What are you doing differently that agents here in the, in the US can try like copy? Uh, awesome, good question. I personally believe no matter, real estate is not about properties. It's about people. People buy people they like. What can you differentiate and what makes my approach different? I think in any business, no matter where you are in the world, you need a trademark. My trademark is my passion. My trademark is the way I dress up. And first impression is always last impression. My trademark is energy. The energy you put out is the energy you're going to receive. People appreciate that. So the fact that you look excited, you sound excited, so people are going to assume that you're doing very well. So what makes you different? First impression is always last impression. Minute you see a client wherever you are, just look excited, sound excited, and 
be passionate about you are. How do you find your passion? The best answer I could give you is find out what you're good at and make it your paycheck. How do you differentiate yourself? Uh, like for instance, uh, I've got a salt tattoo. There's, there's probably 3 million real estate agents in the world out there or 4 million real estate agents in the world. But check this out. This is how dedicated I am. I've got a salt tattoo in my arm. Can you see that? Look at that. Barely. Salt. Soul. Yeah, okay. Salt. Bob. You know, my parents still think it's fake. <laughs> that's wow. Crazy. That's how passionate I am about my job. So that's my trademark, the point of difference. Like I do... Um, I do a lot of property videos. Um, I, that, that's that's what got me into breaking into the Melbourne uh, market. And a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are saying good stuff. A lot of people are saying bad stuff. And you know what? That, that's that's who I am. And I, I, I want to run my own business the way I want to. And pe people are actually, actually accepting it. <clears throat> They're supporting it. Definitely. Huh. Be passion. 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 Make your passion your paycheck. That's what differentiates me. I so the... Fantastic, fantastic. So passion, right? But then in terms of how you deliver your product is definitely unconventional, right? You mentioned the videos. Can you tell us a little bit about you know, selling real estate through video? Why not pictures? Why not the good old way, you know, take the, the couple through the house, tell them how nice the kitchen That's is? Done. That is gone. Those old, you know, old agents that stand there, they look boring and half of, half of those agents in those million dollar areas, they are uh, arrogant as hell and they don't want any new, newcomers to come in there and bring in an innovation and change. Why not videos? Because if I'm a buyer myself, I want to be able to walk into that property and, and, and show the neighborhood, show the drone shots, show the area, the lifestyle that I can live in, the quality of the home because half the time when you look at photos on, online, and when you walk into the house, it doesn't even look like that. But that's why I created the video. So it influences other buyers, friends, families to buy it. And the vendors actually benefit out of it. I think back in the States, you get a commission from the buyers and you get a commission from the sellers. Whereas over here in Australia, we only get commission from the owners. So we work for the owners. But we obviously, we obviously have to satisfy the buyers as well. But um, I, I personally believe it was an innovation and change. And I actually started property videos down in Australia here about, around eight years ago and Everybody else was like, what's this he did doing? What's this, what's this guy doing? No matter what you do, people are always going to talk right. to you forward, you know? That's, that's right. what I did. Huh. That's what I did. So, so the video, how successful has that been? I'm just really curious on how that influences the buyer. Um, I mean, it just seems very, very different. Okay. So now in Australia, we were, as a real estate agent, you got to make sure you get the best possible possible price for the owner because we work in commission rates ourselves. So the higher that we sell, the more money we make in ourselves. So my main intention is to get as much as money as I can. So imagine if you're a buyer and you walk into one of my properties and I tell you the property is priced at you know $1.5 million, but your budget's only 1.4. If someone can afford 1.4, they can definitely afford $1.6 million. And there's a saying in real estate, the buyers are liars. <laughs> Oh, it all depends on this type of property because you get emotionally attached. So what I did was I used the emotion side of things to actually build a vision, to build a dream to the buyer's head. And they walk in there it, it, and they've just walked in there. They've watched the video. The positivity is already there before they even walk in. They've already got that you know, look before they even walk in. So the fact that, for instance, um, you're having dinner with your friends and families or your missus or your cousin hasn't seen the house or your friend families haven't seen the house, they watch that video, your friends will influence you to pay even more for the property. Does that make sense? Mm. Like, wow, that looks like a mansion. That looks like a dream home. Come on, man. They'd be tired of another $20,000 or $40,000. Pay the price. And that's how my vendors benefit out of it. And I've seen that happen 99.9% .9 of the time. It works every single time. Hmm. So how big is your team? Because I was looking on your Instagram and you, you know, you, you actually did something pretty interesting. You took some of your, um, your team members on a, vacation in thailand that's huge how do you motivate your agents or your team and how has that impacted your business okay so team the, the word team stands for together everybody achieves more i i'm a i'm a team player i believe in the more you give and you don't expect anything back in return your team will provide you more you look after your employees first they'll look after their clients that's how i look at it I've got four employees right now and they need me. I've got four assistants right now and I treat them personally like gold. I treat them like my own family. And if I don't recommend something to myself, I don't recommend it to my team members as well. And I always want 
them to grow bigger and bigger, even better, bigger than me. So, because I, I want to look back, but most of the agents in Australia, I'm, I have to pass on a message. They're greedy. They don't want to teach their assistants so they can grow. That's a very sh- strong, valid point that I'm noticing with a lot of real estate agents. They don't take them out to appointments. They, don't, they make sure they don't grow, so they don't start doing that themselves. Or they, they're scared to lose that assistant because they're so great. Whereas me, I'm, I look at it differently. Well, mm-hmm. if you know something, educate them because people are going to grow regardless. What are you telling them you don't? Right. You know, want the best for them. So right. I always the best. But there's only so much you can do out there as well, being, being a team player. Some people take advantage of it. Some people don't take advantage of it. So you are who you are and just your intention is what counts, I think, in the team, your intention. Would you do that if I was me? That's, that's what you got to look at yourself. Wow, fantastic. So you've got the team in place. You've got the sales going. I'm just kind of curious, what next are you looking at? What okay. does you know, the future for your company look like? All right, so I'm not the director where I'm at right now. I'm only a sales agent there, but I'm... There's 8,600 people that work for that brand that I work in. It's like Douglas Solomon in, in, in Melbourne. It's LG Hooker. We call it LG Hooker. So it's a massive brand. I am the number one salesperson for Melbourne. And Melbourne, there's 5.8 million people that live in Melbourne. And then there's Tasmania as well. So I, I became the top salesperson for them over the years. Over the last four years, I haven't been replaced yet. And I don't want to be replaced. I'll be quite honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I always think I'm number two. So I, you know, I make sure that no one replaces that spot. Um, but I, 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 what I'm aiming for right now to start million dollar listings, Australia in Melbourne, and I want to be able to travel around the world and share my experience. And that's my, I'm, I'm currently working on my, uh, TV show right now that I will be approaching TV very soon. It's called Z, Z state. We're starting it on online right now on um, YouTube and, uh, Instagram and because people use their mobile phones more than they watch TV nowadays. Right. Right. So that's that kind of market I'm tapping into, yeah. Million dollar wow. listings, something very similar. Fantastic. Congratulations on that, Zed. Congratulations on that. Yeah. So tell us about, so you, you're you trying to chronicle your life successes, So and you've got a, a book coming as well. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay. The book the book that I'm, 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 I'm releasing, uh, my first book and my first magazine that's um, getting published all over, uh, I think will be published internationally as well. Um, I'm working with my um, manager right now. Um, my manager, his name is Max Markson. He's brought out Oprah. He's brought out. Um, he's brought out Bill Clinton to Australia. He's brought out Mike Tyson. He's brought out uh, all, all the famous celebrities that's been to Australia. So he deals with them, and he's currently managing me right now. His name's Max Markson, and he referred me to um, Wil- Wilkinson Publishing. He's the same publisher as. You know, a lot of people, Muhammad Ali's book, a lot of, a lot of, he's written a lot of books. And then he approached me and said, Zed, I love it if you could actually write a story about your life because it's so interesting. My background is from Afghanistan. So I've been through the war. We came here with nothing. So I wanted to start, you know, he said, you should share that experience, how you developed from zero to where you are right now and be authentic and pass on the message what you've done. So the book um, most likely will be called, you know, how to sell with Zed. That's, that's, that's what. You know? <laughs> well, yeah, definitely keep us, you know, um, updated how that is going. And again, congratulations on that. You thank mentioned you, something. You. Yeah, you mentioned something really interesting there. So you were you're actually from Afghanistan and you moved over to Australia. Can you tell us how that life experience shapes who you are and if that has helped you become a really successful real estate agent? I think from where I've come before and I've seen the image and I've seen that Middle Eastern, all the Middle Eastern countries and a lot of like um, European countries, um, they don't have the same advantage as we do back in the States and where we are right now in the Westernized countries. I have seen uh, the poor side and I've seen the, you know, rich side and I've seen the medium side as well. Because I think I've, I've come from a background where you, you, you struggle to get anywhere in life. It's not about you know, who you know, it's, it's all mainly the power and how many connections you've got and all that. Whereas, so I'm using that life experience. I was 13 when I came to Melbourne. So I'm using that life experience from where I came from to here. And Australia is the land of opportunities. There's Americans are land of opportunities. So I'm trying to say, like, there's no difference between myself and Donald Trump right now. That's how I look at it. People are rich millionaires. They're asset wise millionaires. They're not cash flow wise millionaires. Um, so if you can, you know, have an opportunity like that and no one's stopping you from 
achieving your goals, why not? That, that's how I look at it. If, if you can aim for the moon, mate, you can, you're going to lie down the stars at least. That's, that's where my vision is. So I want to conquer the world. And if you've got that opportunity, if I can do it, you can do it. If someone else has done it, I don't, I don't know why no one else can do it. So that's wow. where my vision is. I've seen the poor side and I want to take you know, that advantage where I'm living in right now to conquer the world and pass on. And make a legacy while you're alive, for God's sake. You, you know you're going to die. You come naked to this world, you, you know, you go back naked. So you might as well live a legacy and leave some good thoughts. You know? Wow. Powerful. Okay. Powerful, Zed. Powerful, powerful. So we're definitely dwelling um, into the quick rounds. We've talked a little bit some, um, about some of those questions, but we'll just, you know, ask it anyway. So I've heard a lot about mindset and passion, you know, from you. So I will definitely ask that question. What, what is that differentiating trait that um, you have that another guy or girl or another real estate agent doesn't have and that makes you unique? And successful I think I got um, hunger in me and hunger is built in hunger is very important um, you can't build hunger into someone but you can educate them you know on, on how it's done um, I, I personally believe that you know you got to live for the moment be who you are the general public should accept who you, who you are and if somebody asks you to change just walk away from it because you only live once in this lifetime and the last thing you want to do is be in a field where you're not passionate about and you know, you're not happy in the environment that you're working in. The only thing that I'm going to pass on is that you're a human being. You're not a tree. Trees can't move. Humans can move. Yeah. Move if you don't like it, it, that work environment. And I believe that's um, 70 or 60% of the population in Australia. They walk into jobs that they hate. So move, you know, you only live once. So the don't work for the money side of things, make your passion your commission check. And everybody's an opportunity. So if you're in business or wherever you are, you just gotta be able to talk to the people, go out there, the people's, the money's with people, go out there, talk to them. Worst case scenario, you're gonna get rejected, get rejected. The more you get rejected, the more no's you get, the more yeses you're gonna get. Some will, some won't, so what? Next, 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 next. Move wow. on, man, move on. <laughs> this is just amazing, Daddy, I love it, I love it, I love it. Next question. What was the last book that you read? And what was the one thing that, you know, you thought was a nugget that you can remember about that book? Okay, so uh, I, I read Donald Trump's uh, book uh, recently. Um, and one thing I definitely learned, I, I think, was how to think like a billionaire. I don't know if you've read that book. It was very powerful. Um, I, I love that book. And it taught me a lot about taking risks and doing things outside your comfort zone. That was a very powerful message that I learned from that book. Uh, I also read a matter book called How to Talk to Anyone Anywhere in the World. Um, and and that, was, that, that, that taught me a lot. That taught me a lot. And uh, books are there to get yourself educated. So the more books you read, the more positive books you need. You read. Even like just before you go to bed, every night I go to bed, just 10 minutes, for, just for 10 minutes, I read something positive. So my mind just sleeps in a positive way. You know, uh, when I wake up um, I, I, in my ceiling in my bedroom, I've got my massive mansion wait, waiting for me. The minute I brush my teeth, I've got a brand new car waiting for me that, you know, the Ferrari is waiting for me. So everything's like, give me a direction where to go in life. And you need a direction. You need, you need them goals to be able to go. And that's one thing I learned from that uh, book where I read about, you know, Donald, Donald Trump. Wow, Donald that's Trump. powerful. So when you wake up, there's, you know, a sort of visual head right there on the ceiling when you go to brush your teeth, you have a picture there. That is, I've never uh, heard of that. that is... Waiting for me. Wow. I've got to do it. I gotta do it. It keeps reminding me of who I am. The minute I look it up, because I don't wear a jacket when I sleep, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the salt sign, get up, Zed. You gotta sell more, sell more. And if, wow. if I had the opportunity, I would sell the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it on, boy. <laughs> wow, wow. So what, what, what do you do for fun? That's the last question. What do you, how do you have fun? So I'm a part-time drummer. I think it's always good to be involved in the community. I'm a, I'm a part-time Brazilian, you know, with his samba, salsa, drama. Uh, we, I play drums with a group of boys. My brothers are uh, singers themselves. So I'm quite involved in, in the community and I go out there and, and, and drums and music is life. You know, it's, I, that's my hobby, playing drums. Uh, at my recent auction, um, we, we do something auctions in here and you guys don't do it in the States. Um, I was meant to sell the property at $1.2 million dollars. And I took, I took out DJs, I took out catering, I took out Brazilian drummers, uh, Brazilian, you know, dancers, the whole, I had like a carnival going on. 
I was meant to sell the property at $1.2 million. I sold it for close to $1.7 million. That was 440000 over the owner's expectation because I created a vibe. And I picked up, believe it or not, I picked up, I picked up the buyer from the airport and a limousine. I booked a penthouse for him. And I booked a business class for him. I made him feel like a celebrity before he even came down and inspected the property. So I, I take my business to the next level. That's, wow. that's what I and even with drumming, you got to have a hobby. And music's my passion. So that's what I do um, besides real estate. Man, Zed, you've taught us um, a lot at the dwelling community today, how you basically create a vibe for real estate um, sales different from most real estate agents um, and how you tap into your passion of, you know, keep moving forward. Um, your philosophies have definitely even challenged me um, to think differently about how, I, how we do our business here in dwelling. So thank you so, so much. We've learned a lot. We really appreciate um, your time. I will definitely not forget how you just jumped on a call on a random Sunday morning. <laughs> thank you so much. That's just amazing. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for, so much.